हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ न्यू चैप्टर हाउ डू ऑर्गेनिज्म रिप्रोड्यूस सो वी विल गो विद द एन सी आई टी बुक एंड इन दैट वी कैन सी अ टॉपिक विच इज मार्क एज एट पॉइंट वन एंड इन दैट टॉपिक इट्स रिटन डू द ऑर्गेनिज्म मेक देयर एग्जैक्ट कॉपी सो येस ऑर्गेनिज्म कैन मेक देयर एग्जैक्ट कॉपी बट ओनली वेन इट्स रिलेटेड टू ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ओके वाई ओनली नेक्स ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन बिकॉज इन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टू पेरेंट्स मीट टूगेदर एंड देन फॉर्म अनदर लाइक गिव अ बर्थ अ न्यू वन न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म बट इन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ओनली वन पेरेंट गिव बर्थ टू अ न्यू वन इट मीन्स नो एनी अदर सिम्टम्स symptoms no it's not the correct word uh, no any other characteristic goes into the other child it's only the characteristics of the parent first parent goes into the child so those child who are exact copy of their parent are called as clones and individual of a clone is known as ramet these are the two terms which you have to remember because they often come in the exams and now a new topic 8.1.1 it's also in ncert book the importance of variation why variation is important so as you all know in the starting in the beginning we were chimpanzees and then we and then we transformed into humans after a little transformation and little tra- transformation and it just because of the variation variation in dna full form you all know i think deoxy ribonucleic acid it's simple so variation in dna what does this mean so in a cell there is a dna and at the time of reproduction the cell organelles and the dna get replicate it means it produces a copy of that and then it converts into a new cell so by this method two cells are formed as you can imagine visualize this so two cells are formed and while this replication there are some errors like a very smaller very minute error happens because exact copying 100% exact is i think quite impossible but it's possible in only few cases so because of those errors the minute errors cause it ha- the variation happens and variation is important because for making a new much efficient much better form of organism so now we will move on to the next topic mode of reproduction and reproductive health so in mode of re- reproduction we have to learn two things sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction okay so now we will cover asexual reproduction now what is asexual reproduction giving birth to a new life without involving two parents or partners like in sexual reproduction we know two parents are involved in an activity and then it produces to a new organism so in sexual reproduction just opposite of it happens only one parent is required for the reproduction now in asexual reproduction there are many types first is fission and we will cover each of them one by one so in fission there are two types binary fission and multiple fission in binary fission an an organism which is named as amoeba shows this method of reproduction in this what happens the whole amoeba 
gets a little bit elongated as you can see then again a little bit more elongated and its nucleus also get a little you know elongated and finally it divides into two cells different cells because amoeba are unicellular so it get divides into two cells or you can say two different amoeba bodies with their separate nucleus now we will see multiple fission in multiple fission what happens that it divides into many bodies like it happens in plasmodium in in this what happens is this the body of that organism get divided into into many small small parts and then they transform into a new body or a new plasmodium now we will move on to next types of asexual reproduction so the next is fragmentation so we will learn what is fragmentation so this type of reproduction can be seen an organism which is known as spirogyra what happens is you can see the body of spirogyra it's a filament shaped body and it gets divided into two or more parts accidentally or maybe after getting mature they divide by their own okay so after dividing they get develop into a new organism and now we will cover the next topic which is regeneration in regeneration the body parts of an organism which is known as planaria gets divided into more parts like accidentally they can get divided into uh, like they can get cut and then after that that body part can form the whole body part the whole remaining body part and it can be converted into a new organism or a planaria body so you guys must be thinking what is the difference between fragmentation and regeneration then so the difference is in fragmentation it there are some specialized cells which take places in uh, fragmentation so the body of the spirogyra must be divided from such point that that those specialized cell must be in the other body so that it can form a new body but in the case of regeneration it, it's not necessary from where the body should should be get cutted now uh, to be like more fluent in this we will deal with an example of liver what happens in liver we must have uh, you guys must have heard ki liver apne aap ko heal kar leta hai apne aap ko de develop kar leta hai agar koi part usko kharab ho jaye to to iska matlab ye nahi hua ki agar liver ke ek chote se part ko rakh de to wo khud ko ek pure ke pure liver mein convert kar dega so the same happens in fragmentation regeneration now we'll go on to budding what happens in budding uh, there is one an organism which is known as hydra uh it has tentacle it body form looks like some what this you can see in the image what happens in it there is a presence of bud which occurs in their in their body and after getting mature the bud also get mature and then the bud after getting more mature it get divided from the parent body part and makes an stable new organism this is budding budding can also be seen in yeast so you have to take get remembered that yeast also shows budding now we will go on to vegetative propagation so vegetative propagation is an a method which is used by the farmers in the rural areas or also in urban areas and it is generally seen in, seen in potato onion and bryophyll you must have read all this in class 7th you just have to recapitulate from 7th class book but still i'm going to take a little part of it you must have red grafting uh 
एंड ली लीव को कट करके लगा दो तो न्यू प्लांट में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगी या फिर दो प्लांट्स को अगर कनेक्ट कर दो अगर थोड़ा पार्ट काट के तो वो दोनों पार्ट दोनों प्लांट्स कनेक्ट हो जाती हैं एंड सो ऑन सो यू मस्ट हैव रेड अबाउट दिस यू जस्ट हैव टू कैपिचुलेट इट एंड नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक स्पोर फॉर्मेशन इट्स द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड कीप इट इन इन यू माइंड फॉर लॉन्ग बिकॉज इफ यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ नीट और समथिंग मेडिकल यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस इट्स एन ऑर्गेनिज्म नोन एज राइजोबियम एंड इट हैज बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस यू कैन सी इन द फिगर द बल्ब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज कॉल्ड स्पोरेंजियम एंड वेन द बर्ड बल्ब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर गेट बर्स्ट इट रिलीजेज सम डॉट पार्टिकल्स सीड्स विच आर नोन एज स्पोर्स एंड द फाइबर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच कनेक्ट द रूट टू द बल्ब इज नोन एज स्पोरेंजी फोर स्पोरेंजी ओ फोर ओके सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट पार्टिकल्स दैट गेट्स रिलीज आफ्टर गेटिंग द स्पोरेंजियम बर्स्ट दोज पार्टिकल गोज समवेयर इन टू द सॉइल एंड फॉर्म्स अ न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म न्यू एस अ न्यू राइजोबियम बॉडी सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन नाउ इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डील विथ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दिस इज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक यू विल लव इट सो